here. He's already loaded up and ready. He didn't even wait for me. He's just like, just waiting on you. He's like, where are we going? Just waiting on you. Where are we going, Dad? I don't know. We're going up the road anyway. We got to go pick up a project. So, <laughs> just what you wanted to hear. Another project. We still got sand dune in here from the sand dunes. So, yeah, we'll uh, take you along. What are you doing, old timer? Oh, living the dream. Living the dream. <laughs> Your dream's not to be driving this up and down the street. No, not anymore. Not anymore. Not anymore. When do you think you uh, When do you think you lost that dream? A couple years ago. A couple years ago. Yeah. What a cool car. I love it. do something inside the set. Well, we're going to do something with it. We're going to have fun with it. It's got a Corvette windshield. It's got to be worth a dollar, dollar ninety-eight. Dollar right? ninety-eight. Get you a cup of coffee anywhere in town, right? So this is what we came to pick up. This is the rest of our deal from Marvin on the Bradley GT. So yeah, we'll get her loaded up. There's a Bradley GT. Ooh, I wonder if he wants to sell the Bradley GT. Bradley GT too? Can we think we get a twofer? What's with the Bradley GT? Well, make me an offer on it. It's what? got to go too. Is it really? Yes. Wow. I redid one of these for a guy back in the like, I don't know, it was late 80s, early 90s when I was living in California. They're a stupid, ugly little car, but they're fun as hell. Well, yeah, there's some unique things about them. I mean, you know, it's, I mean, they are they're they're cool. Because actually, this is a Corvette windshield is what they used in these. Yes, yeah, I remember 71, that. 68, 69, 70, 71. Yeah, I, I remember that because he had to get a windshield to put in it. Because yeah, you have to have glass to to street legally. You yeah. can't use the plexiglass. plexiglass. Yeah. I still got the original build book for it too. Really? Yeah. Excited that it's going away. Oh yeah. Okay, we gotta roll it forward and tighten this up. So. Yeah, I'm really excited that it's going oh, away. Oh, she's right there. <laughs> Heck yeah, good. how are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Hey, thank you. <laughs> thank you for taking this junk. I really do. I think it'll be really fun when you know you can actually drive it and nobody knows what they are. People are oh. like, what is that? <laughs> well, so when I came over to get the old truck, I backed up here and looked over the fence and I'm like a Bradley, a Bradley GT there, yeah. and my daughter's like what is a Bradley GT <laughs> yeah. and uh, she looked it up she goes dad that car's rare they made 6,000 of them yeah. Yeah. I said I know well now I've seen two <laughs> yeah, yeah remember the yellow one <laughs> so yeah he I've saw the two. one that I restored back in the 90s at the car lot I don't know we'll do a burnout with it though it'll have sparks and smoke <laughs> well, you guys have fun right cool well we'll get out of here All thank right. you Marvin well thank you Don't ask me why. <laughs> Don't ask me either. Why? Because Bradley GT said that's why. Who is Bradley anyway? Don't know. We're going to have to look that up. If you know who Bradley is, who made the Bradley GT, let us know in the old comments. Anyway, um, maybe we'll make it run and Derek can come and uh, drive it home. Drive it to, uh, where does he live? Tennessee. I don't Dude, know. Look at the baby moons. After the wood Lamborghini, the, he probably won't drive a Bradley GT. The Lamborghini. <laughs> um, I think it's already got five lug adapters in the rear. Probably. Because that's a 
we just got to get them for the front and then we'll be able to put our mag magnesium wheels on it's like almost dark 30. we're gonna take the model t for a ride so it has these really cool lamps put some fuel in them the other day let's we'll see if i can light them up take miss desiree around the block in the model t this is kind of cheap you probably should have done this with a match <laughs> Well, that one lit right up. See if the rest of them light up that good. Oh, yeah. But wait, there's one more. The tail light. We have a tail light. Okay, we have a license plate light. We have a tail light. Actually, working. Here's your lighter. Oh, now now we gotta start the car. So, Ooh, look at that smoke coming out. That one's hot. Poof poof. Yeah, this one's hot. This one's got fire coming out the top. This one does too. That's awesome. This is like black smoke. This one over here though, this one doesn't. This one like doesn't have enough air. I don't know. Anyway, yeah, it is black smoke. <laughs> Rolling coal out of our lanterns. <laughs> You see that back one? Oh yeah, looks good. That's cool. Okay, so now we start our car. Ticket for having a tail light out? <laughs> Might run out. I'm on a kerosene officer. <laughs> Do you have any kerosene you can loan me? I'll light her up. <laughs> I burnt my wick off. <laughs> like seriously. It's like we get pulled over. We're gonna go get pulled over in this one guy. I am gonna get pulled over on purpose. And I'm gonna be like, sir, I didn't have a match to light my tail light. <laughs> and I'm gonna go tell the judge that. I'm gonna make him write me a ticket. And I'm gonna go tell the judge. Why did you not have a tail light? I didn't have a lighter to light it. <laughs> so this car is great. 100 years old, still in the front like the top. tested our lights. They work. Anyway, we'll put the car away until next time. Yeah. We're driving this car. We're going to drive your daughter to her wedding in this car. Oh boy. With our lights on? With your lights on. Another beautiful day in Havasu. Today is Bradley GT day. McKay's, Bradley. McKay's bright eyed, but he's not bushy tailed. He doesn't really care for this. Dude, you got new glasses. What the? I can see now. They're tinted. Exactly. How can you see through them tinted shades? It's like I don't have to squint all day long here in Havasu now. He's got welding glasses on. Anyway, we're going to see what's inside this hot rod and clean up some of this like that light that's hanging and this wiper that's no good I don't know we're gonna see what we got piece this thing back together I wonder if they drove this all the way from Idaho got an Idaho plate on it <coughs> maybe somebody from Idaho can tell us the county B7 is that the <coughs> county doesn't it oh dude Look at that, Bradley. We got the, we got the, <coughs> the B Tiger on there. We're gonna have to polish that up, dude. That's probably worth more than the car. I wouldn't doubt it. Somehow, <laughs> I don't think that's the right rear cover though, because 
that rear cover is a different color. Should match the car, right? That's black. I like the little bumperettes. Those are kind of cool. Screw holes in the top line, no? I think that's for the hinge, though. Oh, supposed to be a, hinged. There was supposed to be a piano hinge on there, and it may be in the car, I don't know. Yeah, I touched that one switch over there and broke it off. Yeah, I just broke this one, too, so. Well, we've got. We're 2-0 and oh on those. Random interior, not for this car. This is for this car. That's the boot. Yeah, that's random interior. Oh, there's the piece of glass for the window. That's for the uh, boat. I don't know what these, oh, these must be for the driver's seat. Oh, they're for both seats. So the seats, the seats have been removed. What do we got here? We got a console. This is, here's half your hinge or trim piece. I'm gonna try to lift this seat out without, without getting yourself showered. Without taking a bath, we'll get this water out of here. Kind of weird little custom deals, ain't they? Oh, that must fold up for the battery. That's a battery cover down there. Careful on the window. Yeah, don't break it anymore, right? Would be kind of nice to use it as a pattern. It's a Bradley. So the battery must be under here. Oh, imagine that, the battery's right there. Look at that, Bradley Automotive. There's the VIN number. Washington. Almost unlegible. There's another tag right on top of the tunnel too. Yeah, that's the that's the Volkswagen. The, well, the secondary because the original VW number was probably there, unless the. But yeah, you can't hardly read this one here. So this one's on the body. That one's on the chassis. But yeah, the original VW number was underneath of that. Um, I was trying to get to the so I think they made 6,000 of these and this one's 1527 one, so kind of yeah. right in the middle or right in the if you see quarter. the nut for that it's probably laying in here somewhere I wonder they had this thing in here, or probably did. They probably had this thing up underneath, bolted down somewhere. These will have to lube up and get them working. But yeah, that's the oh, battery. Is that the nut? Oh, there it is. Yeah, there's the steering nut. Okay, we got ourselves a Bradley GT. <laughs> so I was noticing there was a back seat. And then I realized that this unclips. So this window, if I can get this out, it unclips, it fits inside that rubber thing. It should be nice to not have it all fall apart, but I think it's all gonna fall yeah. apart. What I wanna do is I wanna flip it over. Get some tape and tape it. Of course, I don't know that it's going to do any good. So, does polycarbonate break like this? It doesn't, does it? This has got to be plexiglass. Yeah, it's got to be plexiglass. Lexan won't break like that. Yeah. Because aircraft windshield is polycarbonate, right? Yeah, Lexan. You pull the window out, and now you can sit. <laughs> With your head poking about where you're at. <laughs> Hold on, let me get in. Okay, McKay, hit it. <laughs> you might you might want to keep your mouth closed if you're around the bugs. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. But hey, it has a back seat, so it doesn't insure like a sports car. You get to vacuuming and cleaning and 
evaluating and we gotta find some cool wheels these wheels are atrocious they are i mean those are baby moons but they're they're wow. so they're not wide enough they don't fit right i want these tires the other one over here. on the other side might clean up well this uh this side may not clean up the best yeah well yeah that one's actually pretty good but we'll find some of those so obviously we have adapters on the rear we just got to find adapters for the front or some vw wheels and uh we'll get the seats back in we'll get the floor cleaned up we'll probably just trim this vinyl back a little i don't want to destroy it but this right here is in pretty bad shape we'll get it glued back down or something and then uh we're going to put a motor in this thing and see if we can fix the brakes and make it run well mckay got it cleaned out he didn't find no silver dollars but we found the vin number that was kind of cool so now we're going to uh, push it into the shop get it on the hoist we're gonna get it up in the air and uh, check out the underneath and maybe whatever's rolling around in that drum it's about to slow down slow down there buddy that's probably good we'll set a hoist underneath and uh, show you what we find Well, just like that it's a lot of rusty screws McKay's pulled all the rusted out screws so the screws rusted in the fiberglass so they had no threads on them so we had to keep prying them out but we got the interior all out and other than a bunch of glue it's pretty much smooth uh, gel coat underneath so we're gonna try to clean all that up and uh, that'll be the new interior of the car black smooth gel coat anyway McKay cleaned these headlights up they look really good Grab that aluminum wheel over there. So I've got this BTR wheel. And uh, I was thinking the BTR wheel might be the perfect fit for this. However, the BTR wheel hasn't been made in a long time. But uh, oh, it actually looks pretty good. We could probably even go wider though. But yeah, that looks pretty good. That BTR wheel would be perfect if we could find a set of those. But anyway. They say the MP is the same, but I did the did the math on the measurements and it's not even close. It's a six and a half inch wheel, that's a seven. It has a different back spacing. Um, we have Chevy adapters on the rear. Um, grab one of those mags out back that's in the, uh, there's, there's four of them stacked up. They're eight, eight and a half inches wide. So those are Chevy. And I think I have Chevy adapters here problem with the Chevy adapter is they're they're all usually one inch I think they make some that are narrower but let's just see what one of those looks like on it. put this adapter on so we know what the spacing is yeah they're eight and a half inches wide there's four of them stacked up yeah slide that on there Chevy adapter deal, but I think these are probably too wide. We'll probably have to cut the car pretty good for these. However, these would look fabulous. Ooh, that poked out the way. Ooh, I like that though. I like that look. That's what I want in the rear. So we could just radius this out to match the wheel, whatever the tire is. Let it just rub a little. The problem is that's the perfect wheel, but we need it without the adapter. Yeah. The adapter pushes it out too far. Now, in the rear, we'll have to pull one of the rears off. I think it has metal adapters. We'll have to look at the adapter on the rear. I don't think they're as wide. 
And the rear it, could stand to be wider. If it's wide five with a skinnier adapter, that might work for the front, yeah? Yeah, we move that one to the front and use that adapter in the rear. And then we'll use all four of those eight and a half wide wheels with like a 50 series, you know, 205 or 225. I don't know. I like the mag look though, even even if I had to cut oh, the car the a little. fits the car. And so even if the tire stuck out a little, I mean, you want the tire right out to the lip. But honestly, this lip will probably end up cutting most of that off to clearance I mean, the tires. You throw mags on it, you'd be running up to the valley to pick up Gidget in your, in your Bradley GT. <laughs> Friggin' McKay. He's such a clown. Anyway, we're going to push it over to the steam cleaner now and uh, steam clean it off and then we'll get it back in here and start putting a motor in it, get the brakes. Well, case okay, kind of getting sick of Bradley here. We've named the car Bradley. No offense, Brad, <laughs> the car's name's Bradley. Um, so I found some cool wheels in my junk. The case is they make it look like a Ferrari. Ferrari. We've got the interior cleaned out. That was kind of a chore. There's a lot of stripped out screws, but yeah, 14s in the front, 15s in the rear, coming right out to the fender. Got 60 series all the way around. Cleaned up some of them whites, got it looking good. Man, this thing's just so ugly, it's cute. But uh, anyway, we're gonna push it over to the steam cleaner now and get the rats cleaned out of it. And then we're gonna bring it back in and put a motor in. Your Shubaroos on your Chevrolet eggs. <laughs> I love the comments you guys are putting in on all, all these uh, take you take your walking shoes. But anyway, we're going to push it over and clean it up. Oh, nice push in there, McKay. Hey, what do you think of the... Uh, the Bradley, huh? Dude, now look at this. Do you approve? Did they roll in? They kind of rolled in, didn't they? Yeah, they did. So with the motor in it, they'll roll in real nice. Honestly, that 255 is not bad. 245 might be a better choice for the Volkswagen. Yeah, I don't know if it's called a 255. And it'll look better on the rim. Plus, we'll go with like a Hercules or a Cooper or something. BFGs are too expensive. back from seam cleaning. Kay's pulling the tank out. I think I can raise it up a little higher for you. Maybe. He's thinking that tank's just going to slide right out. I'm thinking he's crazy, but we're going to see. The throttle bearing still turns. A little bit seizured up, but we get that fuel tank out and we're going to take a look at it. I don't think it's any good. If it's not, we're scrapping it and going a different route. Probably just put a dune buggy tank in the back seat, but anyway. If it's cleanable, we'll clean it out, fix the sending unit, and put it back in and reuse it. New morning in the shop, working on the Bradley GT, doing a little research on the old Bradley GT. I come across this here book that the guy gave me, and uh, I open it up. What do we have here? Nice. We have a picture of our car. That's a cool color. Well, like brand that. new. I like that Rubeer Brown. Yeah, it looked pretty good, all sparkly. But uh, there's the Lexan lens covers. And you can tell because most of them have the mirrors up on the fender. The mirrors on this car are mounted back in a traditional position. 
which is right here. And uh, love the wheels. Those wheels are cool. It's a good looking car. Anyway, so I was doing a little research around the old uh, Wikipedia. There's a Wikipedia on these cars. Um, and uh, a bunch of famous people have owned these cars. Uh, top of the list was Liberace. Wow. <laughs> Liberace owned a Bradley GT. It was also, probably either sparkly <laughs> or gold plated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, gold, gold sparkly. Uh, someone else, Jeff Dunham. Jeff Dunham owns several of these cars, which I think is pretty cool. But uh, anyway, now I own one, so I guess I'm <laughs> I'm celebrity status. Yeah, I own a Bradley a GT celebrity. with the celebrities, <laughs> but they had quite a list. Google it, check it out. It's pretty funny. I got a good laugh. But uh, anyway, this is the GT1, and uh, we're going to get the motor in it today. Hopefully, we've got to put a fuel tank in first. We're going to put the fuel tank in right here. We're just going to put a dune buggy tank, show you what we got going on. We'll extend this up. It's kind of beat up, but that's okay. Nobody will ever see it. And uh, I'll probably put the fuel sending unit back in it. So that's going to take a minute, and then uh, we'll get the motor in. Sorry, engine Peter. in. Peter. And uh, the engine we're putting in it is the one I bought that came out of the Porsche that raced the Carrera Panamericana. So I think it's only fitting that we put the, uh, the race engine in the race car. Why not? So we were sitting here discussing this here car and uh, we steam cleaned it all out. And McKay, he uh, he decided he liked the idea of a convertible. We were looking at this, and it just screws on with four bolts here. Granted, it's bolted down here, but I think it's fairly solid up here. So we're gonna we're gonna cut this thing off right here, remove this little T-top bar piece, and uh, we're gonna build us a convertible. Do you want the edge of the seal? I want the edge of the glass, kind of. A little bit more back. Justin Kramer used to always say, talk about it, be about it. have us a convertible guys there is some kind of OSB or something there there it's, uh, convertible I like it beach buggy I like it Well, four people can sit in it now. That's for sure. Made it look bigger and fatter in the back. It did make it look fatter in the back. Yeah, it'll look good when it's sitting down. It's got the rear cover on it. Let us know what you think. Did we improve it or did we unimprove it? So it had a piece of like particle board in here. Yeah. For, uh, the uh, probably sound deadener. I can't imagine that being strength. They probably just put that in there, kind of as a sound deadener, and then give that that reinforcement yeah. where they laid that well, and that other if piece you wanted on. to make the top removable, you could dig some of that out and just make something that slides yeah, into there. Yeah, put a little piece in it and make a two screws on each side. A couple zippers. Yeah, pretty cool. We're gaining. We'll get this cleaned up. We'll get seats in it. We we'll get the brakes working. Get the motor in. 
We'll be doing smoky burnouts. Look at this, guys. <laughs> the Bradley GT has an engine. The cage, like, stretched out, putting that upper starter bolt in. It is very difficult on uh, this here Bradley GT. You can't really reach over the engine. We've got the fuel tank in the way. It's like, I don't know. It's not a zipper, that's for sure. But, uh, yeah. I'm going to put a little shorter air filter on. Air filters were too tall. But it uh, looks good in there kind of cool it's got the extra sump so this motor's got the extra sump for extra racing and uh, let's see what else we got I don't know there was some other things but anyway that's that's pretty good on that we're ready to uh, take it and rip it for all you guys that make the comments about my neighbors listen to my neighbor running his dragster next door I have the best neighbors in the world. You can't beat them. Hey, hey Doug, sounds good. Huh? It sounds good. Oh, uh, idling too fast. Yeah. I just had to show my uh, viewers that I have the best neighbors in the world. Oh yeah, we like to make noise. They always, uh, <laughs> they always say I'm a rude neighbor, and I, no, I don't no. think I'm a rude neighbor. No, I may no, be a little no. loud, but you know what? Hey, sometimes you have to be loud. Yeah. Well, so where are you going? You going? You going Bakersfield racing? Bakersfield in a few weeks. Bakersfield, nice. Race. Nice. Yeah, it sounds sounds a lot better. You got your new carburetors on? Yeah. Made a big difference. Yeah, 650 yeah. double pumpers. Yeah. Oh yeah, you got rid of the vacuum secondaries. Yeah. Awesome. So yeah, this is my neighbor Doug, everybody, and uh, me and him we uh, we horse trade back and forth a lot. But yeah, he's getting his dragster ready to go to Bakersfield, and uh, we're just working on junk. Well, we're back here on the Bradley GT yet again. I'm working on the ignition. McKay's been working on some wiring. I. Uh, was looking at this coil and I'm like, you know, we need to make this thing faster. Well, that makes it faster for sure, but we need to make it a little faster. So we're gonna we're gonna add some speed to it. We're gonna put a chrome coil on it. 
Well, it's silver anyway. I mean, you know that just made that thing faster. Somebody look at that and go, wow, it's got a chrome coil. <laughs> Gotta be fast. Now I'm gonna put these old rusty nuts on there. <laughs> Might as well, right? What can it hurt? Yep. Nothing can go wrong now. I mean, that's just pure speed right there. Let me know what you think of this Bradley GT down in the old comments. We've got mixed feelings here at the old school garage with it. It's uh, tested our patience here. McKay's patience more than mine. McKay, he just walks away. I throw wrenches. Anyway, we got fiberglass cracking and we got a regulator and we got a coil. Kay's got a fuel pump in here. We just got to hook up some wires, dump some fuel in. Oh, Boom! The best part. We got new tires for the rear. We're still waiting on the new ones for the front, but we're going to put raised white letters because that just makes it cool. Raised white letters are cool. I don't know. A lot of people don't like raised white letters. I love them. I think they're great. Let me know what you think. Well, it's all come down to this, McKay. Are you ready? Scared. You ready to hear this thing run? Is it gonna run? Well, I rebuilt the starter because it wouldn't turn, but now it turns. He rebuilt it with a hammer. I didn't say how, I just said I rebuilt it. <laughs> I wonder if we ought to bolt the steering wheel on. We probably ought to tie this wiring up with something. But I've got an ignition going on here, it's like, some South Central Los Angeles stuff. That's ignition. That's... Whoops. Has it got a loose cable on it? It's arcing like it's got a loose cable. Yeah. It is loose. Can you tighten it? So, uh, I didn't put a nut on the steering wheel. The steering wheel's just kind of, you know, like in the movies, just comes off. And probably 12 or 13, I don't know, half inch, 13, something like that. Boy, the amp gauge sure deflects over hard when you hit the starter. The thing's only got 5,000 miles on it. What do you think the chances of that working are? The odometer works, the reset. Reset that to zeros. 5,010 miles on this beauty. Let's see if she's gonna fire. Okay, let's see. Ignition. Fuel pump.
driveway cleared out. We'll take this thing for a ride. What could go wrong now with this? What could go wrong? What could go wrong? Uh, we walked. We got no seat belts. <laughs> I don't know that this ever had seat belts. I didn't see them. up when we took off what happened yes it's the off-road the air went from the inside to the outside it's separated yep. Ooh, we have some serious separate Ooh, yeah that's bad well the new tires didn't come in for the front but uh i don't know they'll be in soon enough i guess um we definitely plowed some gravel <laughs> Gravel in the headlights, gravel in the front there. Yeah. But hey, it did pretty good overall. It's as it's as friendly off-road as it is on. <laughs>